Okay, so in this video, we will introduce the idea of an augmented matrix corresponding to a linear system. And the idea is to save ourselves a ton of writing as we are trying to solve the linear system. So let's consider a very simple system in two variables, two equations, one that we have considered before, say 2x plus 5y is equal to 4, then 3x plus 7y is equal to negative 6. The idea is when we will reduce this linear system, what can we drop in terms of writing? What symbols can we drop? As long as we are consistent, if you think of it, a linear equation always looks the same. It's always some real number multiplying a variable plus some other real number multiplying some other variable and so forth. So it's always plus in the middle. So right away, we can drop the pluses. Let me rewrite this quite shortly. Now scratch off what we can remove. We don't need the pluses. It's always going to be a plus in between the variables. So we don't need this. If we would simply write 2x space 5y, 3x empty space 7y, we know that what goes in here is a plus. So no need to write it as we know it's always a plus. We always end the linear equation with an equal sum constant. So we know at the very end, right before the constant term is always an equal sign. Well, if it always is an equal sign, we don't need to write it. We can just scratch it off. And now if you think of it, we can do one last thing. If we are consistent in how we order the variables, say all of the x's first, and all of the y's second, and so forth, if we had more variables, we can also drop the variables. These coefficients 2 and 3, we know we are, they are coefficients for x. The second coefficients, 5 and 7, we know they are coefficients for y. As long as we keep them in the same order, we don't need to write the variables. All we really need to keep track of and write down are the coefficients and our constant terms. And this will be now what we can recall the augmented matrix of the linear system. Let's see, we have our coefficients, 2, 5, 3, and 7. We have our constant terms, 4 and negative 6. Now one thing that we will add is a vertical bar. To separate the coefficients, the real number is multiplying the variables with the constant terms. So the equal sign will be replaced by a vertical bar. To make this look a little better, we'll just add two square brackets on the left and on the right of it. And just to remind ourselves that these are the coefficients for the first variable, we'll put x on top, which means that 2 is a coefficient of x and 3 is a coefficient of x. And here we'll obviously add y, as 5 and 7 are the coefficients of y. And that's it. This is the augmented matrix of this linear system. It consists of two parts. The first block consists of the coefficients. So we call this the matrix of coefficients. All a matrix is, is a rectangular array of numbers. So the first block is the matrix of coefficients. The second part is a single const, is a single column, and it contains the constant terms. So we'll call this the column of constants. And that's it. So by using this, and we only write x and y on top of our augmented matrix, the very first step, just to remind ourselves that those are the coefficients 
of x. Those are the coefficients of y. And that way we don't write the pluses, we don't write the equal signs, and we don't write x, x, y, y every time. We know that those are for y, those are for x, those are for y, and those are the constant terms. And so we can go back and forth, right? We can go from the linear system to the augmented matrix. Notice that the first equation becomes the first row of our matrix. The second equation becomes the second row of our matrix. So now we went from the linear system to the augmented matrix. We could go backwards. We could go from the augmented matrix back to the linear system by rewriting the rows by their corresponding equations. So think of what the first row would become. This would be 2 times x. Empty space is a plus. 5 times y. The vertical bar means the equal sign. 4. Second row will give us a second equation. 3 is a coefficient of x, so 3 times x. Empty space plus. 7 is the coefficient of y, so plus 7y. The vertical bar is an equal sign, negative 6. And that's it. This is how you construct the augmented matrix of a linear system. Let's look at two more examples. What if we had two equations and three variables? Say 2x minus 6y plus z equals 0, negative 3x plus 2y, plus 6z, equals 4. Now we have a linear system in two equations, three variables. Let's construct its augmented matrix. There are two equations, so we'll have two rows. Vertical bar for the equal sign. We will order the variables in the order x, y, and z. So here we have a 2 times x. And if you think about it, a negative 6y is a plus negative 6 times y, plus z, well that says plus 1 times z, equals vertical bar 0. So the first equation gives us the first row of our augmented matrix. Second equation, negative 3 times x, plus 2 times y, plus 6 times z, is equal to vertical bar 4. And there you have it, the augmented matrix of this linear system. Let's look at one last example now going backwards. We'll start from the augmented matrix and rewrite the original linear system. Suppose we have a matrix where there are three rows and three variables, x, y, and z. Okay, so let's rewrite the corresponding linear system. One row, as we've seen, gives us one equation. So 2 times x plus negative 3 times y plus 5 times z equals 4. Second row, negative 4 times x plus negative 5 times y plus 1 times z equals negative 3. And finally, the third row will give us the third equation. 5 times x plus 6 times y plus negative 2 times z equals 8. And that's it. So this is how you go from the linear system to the corresponding augmented matrix or backwards from the augmented matrix to the original linear system. Now think of why this is fantastic. 
This will essentially save us half of the writing. Instead of manipulating algebraically the original equations, we will manipulate the rows of the augmented matrix. So we don't count this as writing x, y, z because we'll only write x, y, and z the very first time. Then as we manipulate the rows of this matrix, we will never write x, y, and z again. So all we'll have are the coefficients to write and the constant terms. So essentially we eliminated rewriting every time the variables. Instead of writing several equal signs, we just write a vertical bar. This is also faster than writing several equal signs. And every time there's a plus, we don't write it. Because implicitly, when there's a space, it is a plus. And if you think of it, we've essentially dropped half the symbols. So just in the amount of writing that will take place, we essentially will do half of the writing that we would have done if we would do the same operations from the original linear system to the rows of the augmented matrix. By dropping the variables, the equal signs, and the pluses, we will save half the writing. So this is the very first great idea. By using the augmented matrix instead of the original equations, we will save ourselves half the writing. In our next video, we will see what kind of operations can we perform on these rows that will allow us to simplify the linear system so we can easily find the solution set.